Okay, we're going to take a look at some problems. Uh, we've learned about all these different corrections and effects and, and how to calculate them. Uh, let's put them to work in practice uh, using a, a fairly simple problem. We've got a gravity station. In this case, it's located 400 meters above a surrounding plane. We could assume it's at sea level, or we could use this as, as our data. The edge of the butte extends out 600 meters from the uh, station location in all directions. So we have this uh, uh, idealized circular butte. And then beyond the edge of the butte lies this extensive plane. And we're assuming that the strata that form the butte have a relatively uniform density of 2.65 grams per cubic centimeter. So, so uh, some problems. What, <clears throat> what would be the plate correction? Uh, well, the plate correction, you know, we're at this elevation, we're up 400 meters. We assume that uh, this is our datum. So we're going to assume that the plate is 400 meters thick. That would be our value of t. Uh, we've got our density here. We have to be units consistent, so we're dealing with an MKS meter kilogram second uh, formulation. So our density in this case is going to have to be 2,650 kilograms per cubic meter. So with the terms using these units, we're units consistent. If you take a moment and go through those calculations, what do you get? So we're just plugging into 2 pi g rho t, and you should get 44.45 milligallons. Now remember, this would be the terrain effect. It adds in to the acceleration due to gravity measured at this location. But the observation is corrected for the influence of the plate, so we have to remove the plate. So the sign of the plate correction then, it would be negative and a negative 44.45 milligallons. Okay, over here we're going to ask, we've done our plate correction. Obviously the butte doesn't extend out to infinity. Uh, so the terrain correction is to remove the portions of the infinite plate that aren't represented in this at this station location. And so this terrain is the surrounding plane. It extends from 600 meters out to infinity. So our inner radius, 600 meters, our outer radius is infinite. And we substitute into this expression, again, being units consistent. So might pause, set up and try to solve this something easily done in Excel. And <clears throat> if you do, then you'll, you know, you get this 2 pi g rho, you get infinity here for the outer radius minus the inner radius, which is 600, plus these terms, r sub i squared plus e squared to the 1 half power, which gives you 721. And then this term, we're looking at the outer radius again, it's infinite, so infinity squared plus a little bit is still infinity squared. We're taking the square root of that, so we get infinity. So we have infinity minus infinity. And we get um, that the ring, if, if you will, or the terrain in this case, has an influence 2 pi g rho times 121. And that would give you 13.45 milligallons. So again, same question, uh, what is the sign of the terrain correction in this case? Uh, we know that the terrain effect is has a, a negative influence on the theoretical gravity, but we're correcting the observation. So that sign changes and it becomes positive. Okay, and this problem we're, we're going to take a look at the butte by itself. We're just going to say, okay, what if we were standing on top of the butte 
what's the acceleration due to gravity of this butte all by itself? Well, we derived this formula uh, for the ring. We earlier on, we, you know, to be units consistent, we're using uh, for r zero and r sub i. In this case, our outer radius is 600 meters. The inner radius is zero meter, meters. We derived this formula earlier on with uh, when we also derived the um, uh, the plate uh, plate term, and just this formula up here reduces to to this. We have our outer radius. The inner radius is zero, so this term drops out, and Inner radius um, again is zero, so this becomes a z, and then we have minus r g r squared plus e squared to the one half power. So if you take a moment and substitute and solve, you should get that the influence of the butte at the observation point is 31 milligauss. So, so if this were floating around in space and you were on it. Uh, the acceleration due to gravity that you would experience would be 31 milligauss. So, three easy pieces. Um, we've talked about the plate correction, the terrain correction, the acceleration due to gravity of the butte all by itself, and notice that they all fit together. They're parts of a puzzle. The plate is basically everything. It includes the butte plus the surrounding terrain, which is not there. So it's an infinite plate. It's 44.45 milligauss. Uh, the terrain, in other words, all this material that extends out from the edge of the butte to infinity, has an influence of 13.5 milligauss. And the butte is 31 milligauss. Or basically, just take the terrain away from the infinite plate, and then you get 31 milligauss, the acceleration due to gravity of the butte. So they all fit together um, as we, we would expect, uh, expect them to. So, uh, okay, well next time we're going to you know, take a look at some more problems. We'll uh, look at the free air term, uh, calculate the influence of the plate, and also make another terrain correction. So let's uh, keep, on, keep on going with gravity. Thanks for joining us.